today we are having a hearing censoring the experiences of black immigrants in New York City. And if you are not overwhelmed by the beautiful black faces that are present here today and surrounding City Hall, something is profoundly wrong with you. Now, hundreds of illegals gathered outside of City Hall today ahead of a New York City Council hearing on what's called the black migrant experience. Now, the goal presumably was to better understand how the city is addressing language access barriers, cultural competency challenges, health needs, and other roadblocks that the so-called newcomers face. I am surrounded right now by hundreds of illegal immigrants from New Guinea and also from Haiti, all right? So majority single men from Africa. We have been told as American citizens that all of these people are coming into our country because they are seeking asylum, but every single migrant that I've spoken to today has talked about how they are here simply to work. Joining me now, Savannah Hernandez, Frontline's reporter for uh, Turning Point USA. Savannah, um, well, these are economic migrants. This is not, these are not refugees, and we all know that. That's just ludicrous. But what else did you find? Well, Laura, I went and I spoke to a lot of these people as well as I could, many of them speaking French. But what I found is that they were here to plead with the city for more resources. Uh, you know, the same thing that we find every single time when we come to New York, more migrants, more people asking for handouts. I was at one of the local NGOs, and one of the most shocking things that I've discovered this trip is that not only are they giving these migrants free tickets throughout the entire United States, but also around the world, because that is how desperate New York is getting to get these migrants out of their city. But because it is such a nice setup here, right, with the sanctuary city, free hotels, free food, free daycare, free medical care, they want to stay here. Wow. Well, some of the illegals did not appreciate you one bit, Savannah. Watch. I'm sorry, but this is the United States. We have the First Amendment here. We are allowed to actually film. Okay, well, you don't get to tell me what I can and cannot film. You guys are out here in public today. So, you know, welcome to the United States of America here. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Where are you from? No, nobody wants to talk to me about where you guys are from. Savannah, were you ever afraid there in that in that group, or it's just people were kind of annoyed and irritated? Absolutely, Laura. There was no, there was a, a huge language barrier here. These are all single adult men that are convening. Again, as I walked into uh, City Hall today, or I guess the area in front of it, there were thousands of single men here. I think I saw maybe in total 10 to 20 women in the crowd. It's majority men, and they're all here to take the resources of New York City. It seems extremely unsafe. And I've talked to a lot of New Yorkers as well who are extremely upset about the situation. Oh. Oh, yeah. There was even a grandmother who was outside of this NGO who told me off the record, she was like, I'm in mourning right now, please do not record me, but an illegal immigrant just killed my granddaughter. So I'm extremely upset about this situation. And then, you know, a couple minutes later, I have a Russian immigrant leaving this NGO, singing about how he's getting a free trip to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, this is, all, this is all paid for, by the way, by the U.S. tax dollars, because those NGOs are getting federal tax dollars to resettle and tend to the needs of the migrants. They, forget the people in New York have to deal with the filthy subways and the crime and so forth, but you definitely have to tend to the, uh, the folks from all parts of the globe. Uh, Savannah, I'm glad you're okay. Look, got a little hot there. I'm glad the flyers were out there advertising free travel accommodations for the migrants to any destination. So we have those flyers as well. Savannah, thank you for being out there. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.